Modifiers help to explain things in a sentence, but if they are misplaced or dangling, they can actually cause confusion. Modifiers, which can be words, phrases, or clauses, are words that help give more information in a sentence. They can be adjectives or adverbs. The beautiful red rose. Here the words beautiful and red modify or describe the rose. The large book on the shelf. On the shelf modifies the large book. This is an example of a phrase. The computer that they bought last year is an example of a clause. The clause modifies the words, the computer. All of these are modifiers. Often, modifiers that are adverbs or phrases can move around without changing the meaning of the sentence. The manager quickly read through the information. We could also write it this way. The manager read through the information quickly. You can see that we can move the word quickly to different positions in the sentence, and the sentence still means the same thing. However, sometimes when the modifier is not clearly linked to the actual words they refer to, they can cause confusion. I entered the office soaked from the rain. Is the office soaked from the rain? This sentence could be a little bit confusing. He heard that there was a robbery on the evening news. Did the robbery happen at the news studio? Again, this sentence could be confusing to the reader. So modifiers should modify the words right next to it. Let's look at this sentence. I saw a dollar walking home from work. Was the dollar walking home from work? I don't think so. Because he was late, the teacher gave Sam a warning. Was the teacher late or was Sam late? I grabbed the shovel with my work clothes on. Did the shovel have my work clothes on or did I? You can see that some of the sentences could be confusing and should be written in a clearer way. A misplaced modifier modifies a noun other than the one intended. It is in the wrong place in the sentence. Let's look at this sentence again. I entered the office soaked from the rain. Because it was not the office that was soaked from the rain, we need to move the modifier phrase to a different place in the sentence. Soaked from the rain, I entered the office. Now the words soaked from the rain are connected to the word I. I was soaked from the rain, not the office. Let's look at another sentence. They will not sell oatmeal to anyone in plastic bags. This seems to say that they don't sell to people who are in plastic bags. The phrase in plastic bags is in the wrong place in the sentence. It should be written in this way. They will not sell oatmeal in plastic bags to anyone. Now it is clear that the oatmeal is in plastic bags, not the people. Now let's talk about dangling modifiers. A dangling modifier does not modify or connect to any word in the sentence. It is just dangling with nothing to connect it with. Looking around the garden, roses bloomed everywhere. Who was looking around the garden? Were there roses? If found guilty, the lawsuit could cost millions. Who could be found guilty? The lawsuit? You can see here that the modifying phrase does not connect to anything in the sentence. This is what we call a dangling modifier. Dangling modifiers cannot just be moved to a correct position. In the sentence structure will need to be changed. Let's look at this sentence. 
At five years old, my parents decided to move to the countryside. The phrase, at five years old, seems to indicate that the parents were five years old when they moved to the countryside. If we try to move the phrase to the end of the sentence like this, my parents decided to move to the countryside at five years old, this still sounds like the parents were five years old when they decided to move to the countryside. We will need to change the sentence to show that the speaker or the writer was five years old when their parents decided to move to the countryside. This would be better. When I was five years old, my parents decided to move to the countryside. Now it is clear that the writer was five years old, not the parents. Let's look at our sentence we had from before. Looking around the garden, roses bloomed everywhere. How can we fix this sentence? We will need to put in who was looking around the garden. Looking around the garden, she could see that roses bloomed everywhere. As you can see, if there is a dangling modifier, the sentence will need to be changed. To fix misplaced or dangling modifiers, this is what you need to do. First, find the modifiers in your sentence. Then, find the word or the words it modifies. And finally, is it as close as possible to the word it is modifying? By doing these three things, you should be able to find and fix misplaced or dangling modifiers. Let's look at this sentence. Hiding under the grass, Peter did not see the snake. The first thing we need to do is to find the modifier. The modifying phrase is hiding under the grass. However, in this sentence, the phrase seems to be modifying Peter. But Peter is not the one who's hiding. The participle pr phrase is misplaced. It should modify the word snake. Peter did not see the snake hiding under the grass. Moving the phrase closer to the word it is modifying will make the sentence correct. We could actually write it in another way like this. Peter did not see the snake because it was hiding under the grass. In either case, the sentence needs to be corrected. Let's try this sentence. Sitting on the park bench, the sun disappeared behind the mountains. Again, we need to find the modifier in the sentence. The phrase, sitting on the park bench, is the modifier. But what noun is the phrase, sitting on a park bench, modifying? It's not the sun or the mountains. The participle phrase is just dangling. It cannot be connected to anything in the sentence. We will need to rewrite the sentence. Sitting on the park bench, I watched the sun disappear behind the mountains. Now it is clear that I am the one sitting on the park bench. Let's see if you can fix these sentences. Reading the newspaper, the doorbell rang. Was the doorbell reading the newspaper? Here's one way that this sentence could be made clearer. While I was reading the newspaper, the doorbell rang. Now it is clearer that I was the one reading the newspaper. After hiking for two hours, my sandwich was eaten quickly. Had the sandwich been hiking for two hours? This sentence needs to be fixed. Here's one way. After hiking for two hours, I quickly ate my sandwich. John almost failed every test he took. This makes it sound like every test John took, he didn't fail, but he almost failed each one. If we want to say that he failed most of his tests, we need to rewrite the sentence in this way. John failed almost every test he took. Now it is clear that almost every test John failed. 
Here are a few more that you can try. Listening to loud music while walking home, my dog's barking was hard to hear. How would you fix this sentence? You could rewrite the sentence this way. Because I was listening to loud music while walking home, my dog's barking was hard to hear. Having run out of rice, potatoes was the alternative I decided on. How would you fix this sentence? Having run out of rice, I decided that potatoes was the best alternative. This would be much clearer. The manager said on Tuesday that he would place the order. Is the writer saying that the manager said this on Tuesday or that he would place the order on Tuesday? It's not very clear. The manager said that he would place the order on Tuesday. This sentence makes it very clear that he will place the order on Tuesday. If the writer wants to say that the manager said it on Tuesday, then the first sentence would be correct. So to fix misplaced or dangling modifiers, you need to do these three things. One, find the modifiers in your sentence. Two, find the word or words it modifies. And three, is it as close as possible to the word it is modifying? Modifiers help to make sentences clearer to the reader, but if they are not placed correctly, they can cause confusion. So use them correctly and they will enhance your writing. Happy writing! <laughs>